Samsung may have just created one of the craziest displays I've ever seen in my entire life. How's it going everybody? Welcome to the channel Tech with KG. So today we're going to be looking at something a little bit different from what I'm usually looking at. This is a new Neo QLED display and this is a groundbreaking on the top end of anything I've ever seen in terms of a gaming monitor. I can't help but be amazed by these specs. Check it out, it's got a 32 by 9 aspect ratio, 2000 nits of peak brightness, the resolution is 5120 by 1440p, the refresh rate is 240Hz, and it has FreeSync Premium Pro as well as G-Sync compatible support. You also have two HDMI 2.1 ports on this monitor as well as connectivity for DisplayPort, so this is all welcome stuff for PC gamers for sure. Like the original G9 from last year, this has a 1000R curvature, which is going to give you a really immersive gameplay experience. It also has infinity core lighting with the core sync technology, which this is basically like a bias lighting behind your monitor. It's pretty cool to be honest with you. You can change colors on it. And there's also a way to sync it with your games, which is pretty cool. A big deal to me is the dimming zones jump from last year's G9. The G9 last year had 10 local dimming zones. The G9 Neo this year has 2,048 local dimming zones. That is a huge jump in quality. And not to mention you have the Quantum Matrix mini LED technology built into this monitor. So you're definitely going to have outstanding black level and just really great picture quality. And then, like I said, 2000 nits of peak brightness, this is going to be a treat to play on. Now, the big problem is the refresh rate combined with the aspect ratio and the overall resolution, 5120 by 1440p at 240 hertz refresh rate. I don't know too many computers that can actually hold up to that with some of the more modern games. It's going to be really, really tough. but. The fact that you have so much flexibility with PC gaming, you can always lower settings to try to get these things to match up. So you'll definitely have to tweak some things to be able to run at the desired rates that you want to run at. But the fact that this exists, again, that is what is more amazing to me. So let me know in the comments, are you excited for this monitor, even though you can't afford it, or even though you don't think you'll ever buy it? I think it's just a really cool thing that Samsung has announced and this kind of stuff coming to PC gaming and coming to monitors in general is a really big deal to me because for a while display technology for gaming in the PC world just kind of felt like it was a little bit behind and I was hoping that more would come for gaming monitors and just monitors in general. I used to game primarily on monitors in the past, so it's definitely really nice to see this kind of technology coming to monitors. Personally, I'm excited about this, and I don't know if I'll ever be able to really justify buying something like this, but it might be something we see for review on this channel. Maybe, we'll see. Uh, I definitely have to get a capable gaming PC to enjoy something like this. Maybe it'll be featured. All right, so now for the bad. Um, the price tag, $2,499. And that's kind of where I hit the pause button and say, can you really justify spending $2,500 on a gaming monitor? Now, some of you can, which is cool. I guess if you game more than you watch TV, and if you don't watch TV at all, and you have a capable gaming PC, why not treat yourself if you were going to treat yourself to a TV? Maybe something like this could be better than a TV for a lot of people. And personally, that's something that I think about sometimes is if gaming monitors catch up to TVs and have TV quality and they have the technology that's in TVs, how many people will jump towards monitors in that sense? Because a lot of people do a lot of mixed productivity stuff. So having a monitor that can do gaming and productivity and all of those things combined is a really beneficial thing. And maybe, who knows, if I can get a gaming PC, maybe instead of a 77-inch upgrade for a TV, maybe I'll go with something like this. Is that crazy? 
Let me know in the comments below what you guys think. People often ask me if they should get a gaming monitor and I usually say no, just get a gaming TV. At this point, gaming TVs have surpassed most monitors and unless you're going to be a competitive gamer sitting in front of the screen and that's the way you feel comfortable, then I think that gaming on a TV is usually the way to go when it comes to most casual gaming circumstances. Now, this monitor is definitely not a casual gaming circumstance. I mean, it can be, but most of the time you're looking at these specs and you're saying, well, I really want to buy this if I can run it with my computer and if I'm going to utilize it. Anyway, just let me know what you guys think. I felt like this was something worth talking about. It is a big deal to me that we finally have TV technology coming to our PC monitors. and you know, at this level with 2000 nits of brightness, that's very impressive, very cool. And I hope to see more of this in the future. How about some gaming OLED monitors? That would be pretty awesome. I like that they have 48 inch TVs already from LG, but hopefully maybe LG can do like a 43 inch OLED, something like that. There was rumors about that at CES, but we haven't seen anything just yet. So hopefully that's something that is planned for the future. If you guys want to see more videos about Neo QLED TVs or really Neo QLED technology, check out some of the videos at the end. Thank you guys so much. I hope to see you in the next one.